Welcome back to Investment Tribe, where you've subscribed because you want to learn all about cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and other digital assets. Don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and enable the notifications so you'll be alerted whenever we post a new video. And if you have any questions or recommendations, please share them in the comment section below. There are a lot of NFT games that have been popping up. If you guys watch the channel, we talk about them all the time. But still, there are so many great ones coming. It seems that no one can stop this train. That's why today, we're going to look at a fighting style NFT game, a first of its kind. So if you love Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter, you better stay tuned because you will definitely love this NFT based game that's coming soon. NFT gaming has definitely started to take off this past few months. It's hard to believe that when we first started playing NFT games, no one knew what they were. They did not appreciate NFTs back then. That's why they aren't even taking off, and people were more skeptical about NFT-based gaming. But we knew that NFTs and gaming were going to be the future. We stuck to that belief for years, and now here we are at the front of this NFT explosion. Today, there are tons of excellent AAA-style quality entertaining games out there where you can actually play, earn, and have a great time. We're looking at a game style that we are surprised we really haven't seen anybody do much development. As you might know, we now have different genres of NFT-based games like RPG, FPS, world building, and so many more. But the fighting or beat-em-up games seem to be missing in action. That's why some game developers aim to fix this problem. This game is called ETH Fighter. It's the only one we've seen of this style. As I said in the intro, it's a Mortal Kombat slash Street Fighter style 2D side-scroller game with 3D characters that allow you to have NFT-based characters. Pretty interesting setup. It's a web-based fighting game, so that will be the first iteration. But eventually, they're going to go into PC and then to mobile. If you go to their website, the first thing you should do there is to watch their introductory video, because it does a great job of showing off the game itself. In fact, their website is pretty in-depth. They show there the different characters and their attributes, how you can get in on the actual sale, and the game's overall roadmap for the coming months. So you can pause this video now and check their website, or you can finish this video first before going to the website. So if you have already seen the video, what do you guys think? Can we agree that ETH Fighter is a pretty cool looking game? As I said, if you love old school Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter, you could definitely get on board with this game and possibly get some of those NFT characters. So let's see what these characters actually look like, because they're doing some pre-sale stuff right now. There are 13 different characters that are possible for you to purchase, and they divided those characters into four categories. However, there's only a limited amount of each kind. These categories are common, rare, legendary, and epic. And a little note here that it typically goes as follows. Common, rare, epic, then legendary. Legendary generally is the top in most cases. Let's start with the common crate. There are four characters in this, and when you buy this crate, you will get one of the random characters. So you can see there's only a certain amount of characters for each stage. The website even shows you the power and strength of each kind of character. For example, their stats and the total quantity. They are currently in stage 3 of their sales, and they're doing this over 4 different sales. Stage 1 and 2 have already sold out, and you can see there are no more of the commons left here, so the common ones sold out quickly for this stage. There will be more left on stage 4, but there will be much smaller discounts. There will only be a 10% discount on these characters, and right now, there's a 20% discount. So, the same thing applies here for the rare characters. They're all sold out for this particular stage. We're waiting to get to that next stage. There are also 4 characters, but their stats are slightly better. So, you can see that the stats here definitely reflect that quite a bit. And once again, it's random. You could get Sho, Marley, Bundy, or Hosokawa. Hosokawa looks like he's one of the most powerful out of this whole bunch. Based on the stats on the website, he's got good speed, pretty decent range, good techniques, mobility is a little bit lower, but he has massive power. And then you have your legendary characters. There are only three of those. Then you have your epics. 
only two of those left, so 13 characters in total. As you will see on the stats page, these guys are mighty. There will only ever be 250 of these guys available, and they're not cheap. They are worth 1.2 ETH as of right now, so when the next sales opens up, you might want to think about getting one of these super powerful characters because there's not a lot of those guys left. When it comes to the gameplay itself, there are actually made two different stages that are designed for this launch. But we expect that there will be more stages once the game is in full swing. Right now, they do have a closed beta version of this that's available, but only to select people. So unfortunately, we couldn't get in there and play ourselves. But don't worry because this is going to be coming to people pretty soon. This is based on the released roadmap, which you can also check out on their website. And as far as gameplay goes, there will be single and multiplayer gameplay. But that's not surprising anymore since that is the kind of how it goes with these games. Once ETH Fighters launches, they're looking towards the future here. They're going to be looking at things like customizable characters. We also expect the leveling system to be improved. Again, they are still in beta, so they're just testing the waters here. However, right now, we do not have the full details yet, whether that's going to be single or multiplayer, and being able to level a character that might be a perfect way to turn a profit in this game. For example, taking a common level character, then leveling them up, customizing them, and then reselling that NFT later down the line. This trend is a popular way for many blockchain-based games, so ETH Fighter might implement that as well. I guess we shall just wait and see. To be honest, they haven't talked about the concrete play-to-earn element with this game. So as of right now, we don't know that there are going to be any play-to-earn elements here. But we're hoping that that will be the case since they're releasing this on the Ethereum network and P2E games are hot commodities right now. That's something we would like to see with this game because we think that's an essential part of something like this. So look for the gameplay coming soon for ETH Fighter and hopefully, the next sale will be launching here pretty quickly too, with that 10% discount. That's why be sure to subscribe to our channel, so you'll be the first to know if there are major updates on ETH Fighter. Let us know if this is something you guys are interested in getting. We definitely love playing old school Mortal Kombat, and Street Fighter is one of my favorite arcade games. So if you want that rush of nostalgia, plus the possibility of earning while playing, then definitely check out this game. But we want to hear what you guys think about it. We want to hear what you think. Well, that's all for now. This is Investment Tribe. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.